kindergarten. Have you, do you see that bee in my house? I, I know he's after my honey. Oh, bees love honey and bees make honey. I love honey too. I'm so thankful for the bees because they give me the sweetest, sweetest treat in the winter time. I put it on my toast. Sometimes I put it in my tea. Mm, sometimes I just put it on my spoon and eat it. Well, welcome to music today. Hello, everybody. So glad to see you. Hello, everybody. So glad to see you. I'm so glad that you clicked into music this morning or this afternoon. I have got the best little poem I want to teach you today, and it's about bumblebees. And it goes like this. Bumblebee, bumblebee, stung a man upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I say you are out. Well, it's kind of a poem, but it has a purpose. When I was your age, we would all run out to the playground and get ready to play a tag game. And nobody, of course, wanted to be it. So we'd have to say, not it, not it, not it, and there'd be an argument. And so sometimes we would come up with these fun little poems, but we'd first have to stick our toe right into the center. And somebody would say, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. And it would go around until one toe would go out. And then the next toe, until the very last toe was still in the circle. They were the ones that had to chase. I know this time around in your friend group, you probably do rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And then you decide. But if this has a lot of people, it's kind of hard to do that. Well, Bumblebee Bumblebee can help you solve problems on the playground. Let me show you how. Before we get started, though, we first have to take a look at keeping a steady beat when we say our poem. And so I'm going to use my pointer and I'm going to help keep that steady beat. Will you do a steady beat on your legs or your shoulders or your head while I do the poem? Here I go. B, B, bumble B. Stung a man upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I say, you are out. <coughs> oh, yeah. That person had to go, and so did the sneeze. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. I think that we could do it one more time, but think of some other place to tap the beat. If you're on your head, maybe go to your shoulders or find some other place to do it. Ready? Here we go. B, B, bumblebee, stung a man upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I say, you are out. <laughs> Thankfully, I didn't have that sneeze again. Did you know that bees are pollinators? And sometimes in the spring, all of the pollen that flies in the air makes people sneeze. Well, they say if you eat honey, it helps with those allergies. Let's play a little game. I've got some bees up here and they are all going towards the flowers. Some of these flowers are out already. For example, like the tulip. I see this beautiful tulip over here. You might have tulips in your yard and this daffodil that's kind of hiding behind my face. Oh, there's lilies of the valley. Mine are just starting to bloom. I don't think you're ready to see sun sunflowers or daisies or roses, or even water lilies. It's a little too early. They're not spring flowers. But if I move this, you can also see our crocuses at the bottom. Well, let's play the game. I'm going to start with this bee, and I am going to go all the way around, and I'm going to see which bee it's going to stop at. Let's see if you can figure out which bee is going to have to go first. 
Let's try it. Ready? Do you have a B in mind? Here we go. B, B, Bumble. Oh, let's start again. I don't think I said that right. It starts out with Bumblebee. Bumblebee, Bumblebee, stung a man upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I say, you are out. Mm. Is he the one that has to go away? Yes, it is. Let's see which bee comes next that has to fly away. Here we go. Bee, bee, bum. I did it again. Let's try it. Bumblebee, bumblebee, stung a man upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I say you are out. Uh-oh. If we tapped the beat correctly, it's the bee of the sunflower that needs to fly away. We did it! Let's continue. Bumblebee, bumblebee, stung a man upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I say you are out. Uh-oh. Let's find out. We did it correctly. Good job, breeders. Here we go. Do you have an idea which one might go next? Hmm. B, bumblebee, bumblebee, stung a man upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I say, you are out. Uh-oh. It is the one with the daffodil. Fly away, bee. Bee, bee. Oh, Mrs. Berg. Bumblebee, bumblebee. Stung a man upon his knee. Stung a pig upon his snout. I say you are out. Is it the bee by the crocuses? Yep. We're doing pretty good here, folks. Here we go. Bumblebee, bumblebee, stung a man upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I say, you are out. Oh dear, tulip bee, absolutely fly away. Bee, bee. Bumblebee, stung a man upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I say, you are out. Is it the water lily bee that needs to fly away? Yes, it is. We're down to two. If we start here, following our circle pattern, which bee do you think it's going to be? Here we go. Bee. Bee, bumblebee, stung a man upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I say, you are out. Uh-oh. It is. I don't know. Did you catch that I started it incorrectly again? I have in my head that it starts with the word bee, but it, the poem says bumblebee. I think it works the same way, though. Well, you can go and maybe play a game outside with it turning so beautiful. Have your mom and dad, brothers and sisters, grandma and grandpa, put their toe in the middle and play bumblebee, bumblebee. But we're not done for the day. I want to share with you a beautiful song. Well, I think it's beautiful, but more than anything, it's fast. It's called The Flight of the Bumblebee. The composer is Rimsky-Korsakov. And of course, Rim... Oh, that bee is around here again. He's not letting me finish my job with you today. Hmm. 
Rimsky Korsakov, Rimsky Korsakov wrote this very, very fast piece called Flight of the Bumblebee. And it definitely is fast. I don't want you to miss it. I want you to click on to activity number two and listen to the violinist who is playing this with her fingers so fast you can hardly move, see the fingers move. Her bow is moving so fast you can hardly see it. And of course, the conductor of the orchestra doesn't have his pointer stick. He doesn't have his baton. He has something else. Click in. Don't miss it. Zoop. <gasps> right on my nose. Have a good day.